What up? What up? What up? It is Saturday morning. And it's early. Um, I didn't sleep very good. I was warm. I was actually maybe too warm for a little bit. It's 5.46. I think I woke up around 4.15. Kind of tossing and turning. Just couldn't get back to sleep. So read my book and got up. So going to do make some coffee now. It's not actually this cold in here, but it's cold and I turned the heater off. So I'll put my coat on now. But yeah, now I'm going to make some coffee in my new Christmas coffee pot that I got from Jamie and the kids. I'm out of spoons. I don't know if you guys see I'm out of spoons. So I uh, had to improvise. I'll show you my spoon. This is one of the main things about life on the road. You gotta improvise. Check that out. Spoon. I think it's gonna work just fine. I might I might maybe cup it out a little bit so I can kind of scoop a little easier, but it seemed to work pretty good yesterday. Let's see how it works this morning. I'm excited to kind of continue to get better. Let's see me. In terms of making this more like a home. Each year I've gotten better and better. But still there's always room to improve. But this is huge. Like I've I took a coffee pot, my big coffee pot from the house from the RV last year when I went to the uh, bottoms up at Boogie Bottoms. I knew I was going to be way out in the country and probably not have access, you know, to a gas station or a restaurant or anything. It was way out in the middle of nowhere. So I knew it would work, but this little one packs away way better than that full size did. So that's good. Let's make some coffee. Been pretty ghetto. Check that out. That's how I illuminate the uh, bathroom because that light bulb's out right there. This light bulb's out right here. Oh yeah. Not not awesome. Yeah, but yeah, whatever. It works. Okay, good again. He's early. Oh, hey. Smells good. I'm glad you guys are you're all set up and ready. We are set up. That's good. I told him too. Bring on the golfers. That. It's the moon. There's the water. It's early. This is dark. This is one of the darkest setups of the year, for sure. Here we go. Not yet. Hey guys, what's up? Um, it is now 10:15. Everybody's been playing for an hour and a half. Uh, started cleaning up the RV, and um, now I'm doing some work cleaning up the uh, email inbox. So. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get caught back up. Whole bunch of stuff going on. Uh, maybe some next gen stops in Florida that we can help um, Johnny and Jen with. That'd be great. Everything went super smooth this morning. Um, it was warmer when it was dark. 
And when the sun came up, which is weird, um, it's supposed to warm to like 66, so that'll be nice. But right now, it is cold. Um, sitting here, I got the heater going. The guys are out there. They're boiling spaghetti. Uh, focus, focus, focus. Yeah, they're boiling spaghetti out there. And now we're going to have a spaghetti lunch, which is crazy, I know. <laughs> they got a giant boil pot, and um, it's pretty crazy. Um, but it's going to be delicious. So we got some spaghetti today. I think we're doing hot dogs tomorrow here at the Tokobaga Games. And yeah, so there, there you go. That's the update. Just working on the computer. Um, fun stuff. But uh, So this is what you do during a round when you're on the road. It's freezing cold outside. You don't want to be outside. You sit in the RV and you work on the computer. Yeah. Super, super exciting life of a touring TD. All right. There you go. There's your morning update for Saturday. I'll talk to you guys soon. The order that he uploaded it. And now it's sorted, so it's not going to be the same. Just going to input the scores to the PDG. Where's Gary Duke from? Is he from here? I have no idea. He's played like tournaments I've seen. Yeah, I've seen his name a lot. This is the only... This and no stop are the only tournaments I attend. So, you want me to say names? Or you want... And we're back. So... Made it back to Doug and Jen's here in St. Petersburg, and uh, it is 5.20, so it's super duper early. I think the plan is now, um, sorry, <laughs> plan is now to get cleaned up a little bit, and then maybe you can have some supper, which is not normal, um, but when you're with friends, it's uh, fun to get to go spend a little time and just uh, catch up and hang out, so I think that's what we're probably going to do, going to get a shower and then uh, go have some supper and then relax. It was a really, really early morning this morning, um, so it'll be nice to kind of maybe get to bed early and uh, then get back after tomorrow. We have an 8 a.m. round one tea time tomorrow, so that's extremely early. Uh, so we'll be back at the course early again. Um, yeah, so there you go. But uh, if anything cool happens later, I'll be sure to let you guys know, but dinner time, shower time, coming up. All right, good morning. It is Monday, January the 8th. Um, we're at Fort DeSoto Park. Um, I don't know what kind of park it is. I think it's a county park. It's really pretty here. You guys will see that in a little bit. But uh, yesterday we wrapped up the Tokobaga games with uh, the crew. Had a good time, everything was super smooth. Um, you know, the little bit of normal, the normal stuff, but nothing major came up. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was really cold again yesterday and super windy, so I didn't do a lot of filming because it was just going to be wind noise and, and not cool. So didn't see a lot yesterday, but that's just because there wasn't a lot to see. It was just kind of a normal day. You get to see something cool now, though. Dumping the RV. Overdue. This is good. We needed this. I don't know if you guys can see me. I'm going to make it a little taller. Here we go. Pop it up a little. Yeah, so um, it's like 10 o'clock now. Got up around 8. Um, stayed over with the Magnuson in their parking lot last night after we had dinner. It's where we had our little wrap up dinner. And uh, slept over there got the paperwork figured out. We had to get them added to our insurance, which was kind of a bummer. It caused me to not be able to stay there for a couple nights, but Doug and Jen were nice enough to let me stay in front of the house, so thank you guys again very much for that. It was awesome. Um, Magnuson, I don't have power, but they do let me sleep there, which is great, because it's one minute from the course, which is fantastic. Um, but it was nice to have power at Doug and Jen's, because it was cold, very, very cold this weekend, and I was able to use my heater. Um, I'm a little fatigued, but I'm, um, today I'll probably take a nap at some point, gotta get recharged. I slept 
a long time last night. I think I was asleep around 9.30. And I didn't get up till 8. I was, it was a good temperature last night and uh, humidity was back up, so it felt good. But yeah, I'm a little fatigued, so today will be rest, get some exercise, try to eat some good food, like healthy food. Get some, I need to get some vegetables, some salad, have a bunch of salad today or something. Just to, I need a lot of protein, had too much bread. So yeah, so that's the plan. Um, got up at 8, did some tournament work uh, for upcoming stuff, talked to, I don't know, half dozen, eight different people this morning about events. These animals are nuts. There's a dove right there. Look at, what's up? Well, I've never seen a bird walk that close to me before in my life. It's crazy. But yeah, so I talked to a bunch of tournament folks about upcoming stuff um, for this weekend and down the road. Um, I shoot, I even talked to Sam about a tournament in Lexington that's in June. So I got a little bit more work to do. I placed an order already. I uh, sent an order to Kansas, talked to the people in Kansas for some restock stuff for Saturday because it's blowing up. It's huge. I can't believe how big it is on Saturday, but you guys will see that in a few days. So I do believe the RV is dumped. We're good. So I'm gonna go wrap this up, then we'll head back to the campsite, fill up with water, and uh, yeah, I gotta go over to back over to Maximo at one. I'm gonna play play with Doug and Teddy. So that's good. All right, I love this place. It really is nice. But check this out. This is my little path down to the water. How about that? It's cloudy out today, but it's nice. Pelicans out there. I don't know if you guys can see them. Three white pelicans. It's flat. Makes me wish I had a board. No board this time though. Just bikes. See how the water comes all the way up to this little seawall when it's high tide, looks like. Got the grill and the picnic table. Sweet little sight. Very nice. Time to get things hooked up. So two years ago, Kelly and I had our bike stolen in a park. Um, it was not here, it was in or around Ocala, Silver Springs. And I was sick, really, really sick. Um, luckily that club um, is awesome and they really helped me out. We were able to still pull the event off. But yeah, it was still a bummer to lose our bike. So I, uh, I got this bike lock. Uh, TJ Maxx, I think. No Ross. I think I picked up a Ross. About like eight bucks. And uh, I guess I'm gonna mount this thing to my bike. Uh, yeah. Let's see how it works. So uh, this is the bike lock like holder, so that when I'm like riding around and stuff, I can still have the like lock on there. And uh, cut a couple little tabs off of it, and now we're gonna screw it down. I really, I need, I have to get a screwdriver. It's just like, I want to get a better, a better garden hose, like a small garden hose, because the one I have is gigantic and it's really, really annoying to use. And, um, yeah, I need to get a screwdriver. So yeah, so I had to use this thing, which, oh, oh, you see that? So, this deal. A little multi-tool. It works, it worked. So, thanks, little DeWalt multi-tool. Got a skizzers, a knife, nail file. Yeah, that little, it worked. Now I'll see this one. Oh yeah, I goofed it up. Goofed it up. Goofed it up, that's what I did. 
put this too close to this crossbar. Now when it wants to go up there, it hits that. So we got to lower it down a little bit. That should do the trick. Sure enough. Show you guys the tide coming in. Look at the fish. I heard a mullet. Oh, it's going crazy. It's going off. Isn't it beautiful? The tide's coming in big time. It would be more pretty if we could go out on the beach where we were earlier. But I mean, come on. I wish I had a board. So, I've been, we went to and uh, played golf today at, at Maximo with uh, Mike Vaughn Hillbilly and Doug and Teddy. Had a great time, it was a lot of fun. And now, uh, yeah, I've just been working on the computer, did a lot of promotion, trying to get Saturday's tournament filled up. I mean, it's gonna fill, but just working on it. What are those? Can you guys, can you guys see that? Like when these, when they're hitting, it's like a turtle head, like a little tiny turtle head that comes up. What is that? Is it a fin? Somebody's going to know what that is. Tell in the comments. Say, what is that? Are they? It's a fin. All right. I've never seen that before. What? What is it? Yeah, I just saw the sun starting to set, so I wanted to pop out here and get a look. I was going to take a shower, but it's so nice. It's gorgeous. Just so peaceful. Tonight is the Alabama-Georgia game. I'm going to try to watch that, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it or not. The Wi-Fi hotspot is struggling out here. I mean, obviously it's gorgeous. I should just sit outside, but... And that's what I'll do if I can't get the game. Beautiful. Oh, there goes a the mullet. All right, we're back. It's getting dark. Let's go take a look. Gosh, it feels so good. You guys, you don't even know. Like, it's gorgeous. Clean and this. Hear that? I think I'm gonna let this be a good night, so I'm just gonna have some dinner and um, try to watch the game, then bed down, get up early, have a great day tomorrow. Fort DeSoto Campground, St. Petersburg, Florida, Fort Myers, Florida tomorrow. Love y'all. This is definitely keep chasing the chains kind of moment.